Hello again, my carpy friends. Hope you're all fitting well. Back down deep in chest in these big carp again. As you can see, it's quite sunny. I'm just in a bit of dapple shade here under the trees. Got down about an uh, hour or so ago. Had a good walk around as usual. Didn't see anything other than in this swim, which is the car park swim. Which you, if you're a, a regular viewer, you'll know it. If not, this is the car park, obviously. There's the cars behind us. Nice and handy, getting the gear in and out, no problem. Happy days. Rest of the swim. As you can see, the rods are already out. Didn't want to waste any time. Oh, bit of beeping going on. Let's hope it's a whacker. <laughs> As you can see, I've got two rods down there, one rod down there, and I've got two baits. I don't know if you can see the boy or not over there. I sure can. One's right in front of the boy, and one's in that far corner, roughly there, in a nice deep hole. So I've got one in fairly shallow water, one in deep hole, which is about 14 foot. And this other rod here, that one's just cast, cast straight out in front of us, in line with that, that big tree there. Let's have a look, that big fella. And that one's at about uh, 16 wraps, I think, that one. I saw a small fish roll there, and there's been a bit of fizzing, so I decided to put a bait on that one. I'm going to put a load of particle over that one, and just see how it goes. Um, as you may have noticed, I'm on my own. Our Archie's not with us today, I'm afraid, which is proper sick as, because he stayed around mine last night. Help me sort my gear out and stuff, bless him. Top lad. But yeah, he's back at school now, so even under the Covid rules, you have to go back down there, so he's not too impressed. All his rudder here as well, they're all in front of us. They keep showing all the time, so obviously I've texted him and told him. <laughs> bless him, he's, he knows the score. He does know the score now. So yeah, I'm just going to crack on, get the house up. Like I say, the rods are already sorted. Stick a load of bait out. One, oh, there's a bait on one or possibly two rods. I haven't decided yet. One for definite. To me, for two nights. That blooming tree keeps covering me over all the time. Uh, here for two nights, so a load of chance to get something over the the bed of bait, which is going to be particles, old carbon baits, um, nutty maple mix, which is my favourite one. Obviously, full of nuts, tiger nuts, peanuts. Maples and hemp, awesome combination, lovely and oily, loads of attraction, fantastic stuff. I'll show you that later on once you get it all sorted. It's all bagged up at the moment, so. Right, that's it, I'm going to crack on, put the house up, and fingers crossed, oh, f forgot to mention, I've got uh, a fair few bits of gear from RG Baits to show you, and I've got a new uh, Bivy Light come uh, camera photo light, if you like which I'll be showing you later on in the in the vlog as well, so stay tuned, hopefully I'll have some fish to show you and I'll show you those goodies from RG Baits and of course the new uh, bivy lamp that I'm trying out so if you like these sort of uh, vlogs, the old carp fishing videos I'd love it if you'd subscribe please and give us a like if you like it, obviously much appreciated, right, I'll speak to you all again soon cheers for now as I said earlier, I'm going to be putting some uh, particles out, carbon baits, uh, nutty maple mix. I'll just show you that mix now because I'm going to whack a load out now with a big spawn. Two secs. There's the mix. And as you can see, it's just full of all sorts of goodness. There's hemp. Chopped tigers, chopped peanuts, and not very often used, the old maples, which are a proper old school bait. They do um, various types of baits, obviously particles, obviously, because it's carbon baits, particles. Um, but you can get 
salted bait which you can keep for probably three or four days you can get shelf life which obviously as it says probably lasts for three or four months I would imagine if not a bit longer I have to double check on that one and of course the old uh, the old freezer baits they do an awesome range they do everything you can possibly imagine in the particle range it even does tiger root baits and stuff as well and hemp and snails which is a big favorite of some of the consultants as well and some of the field testers it's another big one hemp and maize obviously for france and stuff a really big one as well and for the uk obviously but just a huge range of particles and some of the deals they do on uh, on facebook and stuff just unbelievable they do post for post free deals every now and again as well which is a, obviously a massive saving as well oh got a beep again which is obviously a massive saving if you can save on a postage like i say just just check them out on on facebook instagram obviously they've got their own page their own um, website with all the baits on so you can see what's what explains what they all are and everything and all the different kinds you can buy with the cards to like i say shelf life and freezer baits and stuff so yeah just check them out, carbon baits. Fantastic particle baits. Absolutely awesome. Can't fault them. Brilliant choice. Pretty cheap as well, I must admit. Cheap as chips, really. And like I say, if you can get a, a post free deal, which is on quite regular, there's always putting deals on Facebook and stuff, so well worth checking out. And of course, the usual website www.carbonbaits.co.uk, I do believe it is, top of my head. If not, if you can't find it that way, just go onto Facebook, put carbon baits in, and you can't miss them. They're always uh, putting posts up on a daily basis virtually with all the different deals he does and stuff, so you can buy 5 kilos up to 100 kilos plus, whatever you want, whatever takes your fancy. I'm sure there's something on that side for you. So, give them a look up. Carbon baits, particles. Cheers for now then. Got to get the spam out now, do a bit of work. I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers for now. Well then, we're off to a flying start. Nice 21 half pound mirror. Only been here half an hour. Oh, still full of fight like, didn't have scrap. It's one of them ones that you think is going to be bigger. What that'll do for starters. Aren't it? How good is that? Nice 21 half mirror. Happy days. Get in there. <laughs> Show you the other side quickly and get her back because it's sunny. I'll make them out in the sunshine. Even though it's quite, quite cold still. And she's trying to bring a bitch slap me. There we go. How's that? Bit of dapple shade off the sun there. But yeah, happy with that. Crack and start. Half an hour's fishing. 21 and a half pound mirror. Get in there. Right, I'll get a put back. Right, let's see if we can see you go back. Spin that round. Bit awkward on your own. There's at you when you need him. Happy days. Go on, fella. And you're ready. There he goes. Oh, scary face. Yeah, off to a flyer. Happy days. Well, we're off again. I still only got two rods in. I haven't got my third rod in yet. And we've got what looks to me like a 30 pound leather. As you can see, she's full of beans, so I'll get her up as quick as I can, get her back. See if I can, I obviously want to show you her first before she goes back, so it's a cracking fish. Oh, I keep standing up. 
Come on, fella. Now, eh? As soon as I get your photo done, you can get back. Nah, no, not having it. Can't turn. Good lord. Feisty fella. There we go. How was that? Nice 30 pound leather. I think we're in the plumbing shade there. I'll just move it over quickly. That's you when you need it. <laughs> Cracking steps. Should we probably be able to. There we go. Just a quick forward while you can go back. There we go. How's that? What a fish. Fantastic. J precision hooks, nailed as usual. And the old G, old RG uh, formula, that to crab. Fantastic. What a fish. Just spin it around quick and get it back. Ah, she's a bit of a chunk, like. That's it. How's that? It's a falling down tree and I think the sun's going through the through the branches. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. Hopefully it shows up well. Right, I'll get a put back. As you can see, she's a bit feisty. Right, let's have a go again. Fish is mental. We've seen him across the back. Pop a chunk. Go on, bring your nose out. A oh, bow waving away, how good's that? Proper showing off for the camera. <laughs> Fantastic. Doing a little bit of bait prep. Uh, boilies again. It's time of year for boilies now, I think. Middle of September, well, September the 20th. So, yeah, it's getting on a bit. Hopefully, they'll be up for a feed, the bigger fish. So, I brought mostly boilies this time, no pellets. After the last trip, I got battered by the island small fish. Oh, dear God. So, I've got the pellets on the head for now. And I'm just going all boilie on two rods and particle and a bit of boilie on the other rod. 
So I've got my usual formula with Arctic Crab and I've got two sizes. I've got a, some some 12 millies and some 16 millies. And I started to glug them about two days ago. I glugged them in the liquid food, obviously to match the boilies, which is the formula in Arctic Crab liquid food. And as you can see, they're all well coated. So hopefully those boilies that are in there will have taken on all that goodness soaked right away through hopefully or even on the outside layer would do just so it starts to ooze off the longer it's in the water. So I'm going to do it a shade more now because I'm going to start putting some out in this bomb. So bank some more liquid in. Give it a good glug of that. Quick whiz round with my scoop. Get them all nice and wet and mixed up. A little bit of my old favourite. Chilli oil. A little bit of chilli oil. So do the fish I think. So I'm just giving them a little drizzle of chilli oil. You don't need too much of this stuff because obviously it's quite strong. Important gear. And obviously try and get it on your don't get it on your hands and put it in your eyes, otherwise it'll knack. <laughs> right, give all that a mix up. Give them all a good coat and give them a good, good whiz around with a big scoop. And then the piece of resistance, the last little bit is the formula an arctic crab stick mix that I coat them in which helps um, soak up all the excess liquid and it makes them easy to handle so you're not getting covered in gungy liquid food all the time so I'll give them a good dowsing over in that usual spin around and I'll just keep doing that until all the bits are dry to the touch on the outside it's like a bit of a double whammy thing really because it's uh, it's drying all the baits off so you can handle them easier so you're not getting covered in gunge every time you pick them up and put them in your spawn but it's also leaving like a, a really light coating on the outside of the boilie which will hopefully give off some more attraction once it goes in the water so I'll just keep doing that for a while Sure you get the idea of it. Just try and dry them all off on the outside. I'll leave them for another half an hour and I'll put a bit more stick mix in once that's all soaked into the outside of the boilies. And then hopefully there'll be nice little balls of attraction ready to go out. So happy days. Pick them up, bang them in the spawn, get them out there, try and bag ourselves a whacker to show you. Fingers crossed. Cheers now. Yeah, well, just having a chill by the lake, by the rods. Happy days. Sun's poking through the trees just. Wind's a bit chilly, easterly wind, but can't complain. Had a couple of fish, haven't we? Happy days. Definitely happy days. Nice can of cider. And for my shift buddy at work, Simon, this one's for you. A nice slice of vegetarian pizza. <laughs> How's that side dog? Right, I'm gonna just sit here and chill, have me can of cider and a little bit of pizza and just relax. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers for now. Just blooming lost one having a nightmare. Didn't feel big, so not too fussed. Got it fairly close in, just came back and tried to turn the camera on, just bumped off in the margin. So, not to worry, plenty more time to go yet. And it was the particle rod this time, over the car carbon baits uh, particle, so that's a good start. Really pleased with that, so that's something anyway. So hopefully the next one I get, if I get another one, I'll hopefully try and land it and show you it. <laughs> okay then, catch you in a bit. 
Well, I'm back sat chilling again. <laughs> After losing that goddamn fish. Like I say, not to worry, it's only a little one, I think. So, cup of tea time. Nice cup of tea. A nice nutty protein crunch. The old chilli nuts. Can't beat a cup of chilli nuts. And to finish them off, my old favourites. Fig rolls. Gotta take care of them bowels. Keep them moving. <laughs> right, so that's it for today, I think. Lots of course fish still moving around. Archie's rude are jumping all over the place. He'd be sick as a pig not, not being here. But, needs must. School and all that. He has that six month off, so he can't complain, can he? Bless him. Right then, I'll leave you to it. I'm going to have this cup of tea. A couple of snacks and stuff. And I think an early night's in... Uh, being it's called for I think just in case could be up during the night you never know do you so right I'll speak to you soon then cheers for now o'clock in the morning I've got ourselves a nice little 22 pound 7 ounce little fat dumpy mirror air coming sorry how was that bad boy worth getting up for stunning fish absolutely perfect these commons in here how good's that right I put a straight back it's two o'clock in the morning and I've been faffing about for quite a bit now getting everything ready so I'll speak to you all again later. Cheers for now. Good morning everybody. Just the one fish in the night, which was awesome, I must admit, it was cracking little fish. It's 22-7 common. Can't argue with that. Proper damp and chilly last night. Pretty autumnal, I must admit. It's definitely changing now the weather coming in dark early and stuff like still looks good for a few more fish yet just gonna have a cup of tea just chill for a bit then have some breakfast but other than that all's good so far happy days three fish can't complain with that got on birds diving on my baits like but it's part for the course isn't it blooming coots Right, I'll leave you to it and I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers now. Well, by the looks of things, it's going to be a cracking day today. It's clear sky, sun's out. Happy days. Kettle's just starting to boil, I think. Yep, kettle's boiling. Ready for me porridge. Happy days. So I'm going to crack on, have me porridge, blueberries, strawberries, usual stuff, quick scoop of protein powder, nice cup of tea. I'm just going to sit in the sun for a bit before I redo the rods later on. Catch you in a bit. watching the water. Been a few fish shown. <coughs> a few fish shown. Just little ones though. It's 
absolutely blinking red hot. Can't believe the time of year, it's amazing. I'm not complaining in a way, like it's nice. I do like a bit of sunbathing, but good God. The only thing is it's flat calm. I don't like it when it's on a year, when it's flat calm. You can see the fish move better and everything like, but they don't seem to feed when it's flat calm and warm like this, but only time will tell, won't it? Usual fingers across, so I've redone two of the rods because I recast them during the night, so I wasn't happy with them. So, just got to see what happens now. It's going to be time for lunch. Like I said, just sat washing the water, it's a cup of tea. Ticking in the end of September sunshine, really. Absolutely scorchy, oh. But it's better than pouring down, isn't it? <laughs> right, speak you all again soon. Cheers for now. Hello again everybody, I just want to show you the latest range from RG Bates, it's called the Natural Range, which is called that for a reason because obviously it's all made with uh, natural ingredients from nature. I'll start with the liquids first, which can be used in obviously spawn mixes, spods, um, stick mixes, or even just pour them over your boilies, whichever you want to do with them really because they're just so full of goodness, it's unbelievable. And they're all PVA friendly as well, so you can put them in PVA bags as well. The first one up is the Antarctic Krill, which as I'm sure as the, the name suggests, is full of krill, which is the actual really small shrimps. I don't know if you actually see them in the in the bottle or not. But it's actually com completely cram-packed with krill. And they're really high in uh, omega-3. And like I say, there are loads of amino acids in them as well. Awesome stuff. We all know how good the Antarctic krill is in baits and boilies and that type of thing, so well worth a try. Next up is the Bloodworm and Daphnia, another obviously natural one full of blood, Bloodworm and Daphnia, all suspended in a nice uh, attractive liquid. Same again, it can go anywhere PVA bags, stick mixes, obvious bomb, boilies, everything. Just completely cramped, packed full of bloodworm and daphnia in a nice amino liquid. Third one up is freshwater shrimps. Oh, these look absolutely awesome, these. They really do look very good, like. I'll read the bit on the back. I don't know if I'll be able to say it properly, like, but they use a combination of Gamararis and Artemia shrimps to create our blend of freshwater shrimps liquid extract. Both these two shrimps are native to UK's waterways and fish absolutely love to feast on them. And as you can see there, it's absolutely ram-packed with shrimps. Simple as that. We all know how much the carp love the shrimps. All fish will eat shrimps, like obviously, but our main target's the carp, but they can be used for all species. As you can see, the bottle's completely full of shrimps in there as well, so another brilliant additive. Same again, spawns and everything, spawn mixes and stuff. Next up in the range is two powdered additives, which these need no um, introduction really. Just classics really in my, my eyes. My favourite out, out of the two of them has always been Maxi Muscle, which is classed as a, an amino feed stimulant powder, which is uh, green muscle. Green muscle extract in there. You can smell it when you open it. Oh. It's working already. <laughs> yeah, smells proper fishy that. 
obviously we haven't got smelly vision so same again with that you can use it in your base mixes even with your boilies excellent uh, additive for that for attraction same again full of aminos full of goodness gives off a nice flavour release so the fish will home in and hopefully same again that can be used in boilies in your glugs you can um, soak your boilies in the liquid flavour see it's working brilliant this stuff <laughs> in the liquid flavour and then sprinkle this over the top and it coats the boilies which I, I've been doing that lately I must admit like top secret that one <laughs> and next up on the list is another really well known one shrimp and liver the liver especially liver's been around for donkey's years in baits carp baits and stuff like right back to the early days but cheese stuff and all that sort of thing that's a really meaty based type smell that one obviously you can't smell it but I can it's really good stuff same again I use that on boilies as well or you can use it in your base mix when you're making your boilies as well so that's the natural range from RG bait something there for everybody there must be like I say whether you want the natural attraction of all the, the shrimps and stuff that sort of thing Antarctic krill or for your powdered additives which like I say can go in your boilies and stick mixes and all that sort of thing shrimp and liver and the old classic maxi mussel green lip mussel and don't forget all three liquids are PVA friendly so you can put them in your PVA bags that's just a quick roundup of the latest uh, natural range from RG Bates give them a go they definitely work definitely work cheers now hello again everyone just sat down with a bit of lunch and the bring my rod ripped off no whackers I'm afraid a nice uh, really pretty 15 pound mirror happy with that oh nearly fell over daft lad look at this little beauty a cracker isn't it hey hey beautiful little fish it's one for the future that one definitely really bright future on deeps with all these fish coming through like just not do don't want to catch him now obviously but he still can't complain cracking fish beautiful sunny day and a lovely fish on the bank and after threw me lunch some lovely scales on it be a cracker when it's bigger this fella oh no it's been troughing as well by the looks of it it's got a bit of a belly on it so yeah happy days all worth the trip Really nice fish. Nice 15 pound mirror. Usual tactics. Happy days. Fingers crossed for a whacker. Told you them uh, additives worked, didn't they? <laughs> there we go. Right, I'll get a put back. Clock. Where is she? There he is. There she goes. Happy days. And she's gone. That was a nice little interruption of me lunch. Cracking little fish there. Really nice. Been getting liners all the time on that rod for about the last hour or so. And I was doing that bit on the uh, natural range. I kept getting a few beeps on that rod so I had a feeling it might go at some point. Roughly the same time as yesterday's bite as well so there was a chance of another one. So, fingers crossed, hopefully the next one's more than twice the size. We can live in hope. Right, cheers for now. I'm going to go and finish my lunch and I'll speak to you all soon. Well, it's all quiet on the car front at the moment. Nothing to report. Just having a bit of a chill. I just uh, had the spam out. Put another five kilos of carbon baits, um, hemp and maples, nutty mix out. See if that does any good tonight. Fingers crossed on that one. Smells absolutely lovely. Proper sweet and really good. So fingers crossed something happens with that. Um, middle rod, which hasn't done a thing yet. I haven't had a, a, a take off that rod yet. Um, I put, uh, I think it was about eight or nine spoms over that. Just to try and entice something to come and feed in that area. 
and the left hand one which is the one that's been doing all the action really it's just I've put uh, probably 30 or 40 baits out with a stick and that's bombing over that side so one area is all uh, all spummed over with boily one area is spummed over with particle and the other one's just been used with a thrown stick so we've got loads of different uh, types of feeding areas if you like one's over a scattered area one's over a tight area of boilies and one's over a reasonable spread of about 10 kilos now of uh, carbon bits uh, nutty maple mix so I'm just having a chill sat over there out in the last of the sunshine just sat in my chair obviously I'm not there now because I'm behind the camera light but in two minutes I will be just sat over by the car last of the sunshine before it goes all damp and cool again like it did last night so yeah all was good so far weather's been cracking can't complain about the weather we've had four fish a double two twenties and a thirty so yeah happy days can't fault it so far just love absolutely love a whacker and actually keeps keeps like messaging me as well he's uh, he's got his fingers crossed for a whacker as well so cheers arch Right, I'm going to nash and I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers now. Just sat chilling. Sometimes it's a simple thing, isn't it? That you'll appreciate. It is for me anyway. Nice panini. For a change. Can't see it. It's a chicken tikka. And cheese. And of course, of course, of course, obligatory cup of tea. Just sat by the lake. On a beautiful September evening. Can't fault it. Absolutely class. It'd be even better when them rods rips off like. <laughs> Especially with a big fat fish on the end. Preferably a big heavy one as well. So that's the state of play at the moment. Just sat waiting. As usual, fingers crossed. But can't complain, I had a cracking trip so far. Really enjoying it. It's been a good trip. Yep, so that's it. I'm going to have my panini, cup of tea, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Hello again, everyone. I thought I'd show you this uh, new bivy lamp I'm testing out. Been using it for about two months now. It's been absolutely spot on. It's from a company called Sunblesser or Sunblesser Bivy Light. Comes in its own little hard case, which is bang on. Little carry handle on the side. Nice zip all the way around. Inside, obviously, you've got tell a sec, your bivy light on off button that end. L little thing to hang it from if you want to hang it rather than use it uh, on the magnets. And it's got uh, input and output charging port on this end, so you can even charge stuff off it. There's two types. Um, power there's uh, 2600 milliampers and there's a 5000 milliampers this one's the 5000 milliampers in the case as well comes with a really strong magnet which you attach your light to the inside of your bivy with and just goes on the back as you can see it's a really strong one so that's going to stay put all the time it's shower proof not waterproof I wouldn't say it's shower proof so because it comes with something else which is really different is a bank stick adapter with a magnet on the end which is a great idea for your, your night shots and stuff or if, you, if you're working outside and you need a nice bright light it's just a, it's got the bank stick adapter thread on the end there nice strong magnet on this end and it's a flexi proper swivelly thing you can bend it in any sort of shape and that just clicks to the back get it the right bit clicks to the back st stays on there and like I say for any, any night shots you want to do and stuff screw it in your bank stick and it'll just stay on there like that as you can see your bank stick's in there and you've got your night light to use as and when you want to like I say with a little hanging thing as well so you can hang it from anything also it's remote control comes with its own little remote and also in the little bag is obviously instructions charging lead 
and a little lanyard to attach to either the, the bivy light or to your remote control. Now it's got three different lights on it, three different coloured lights should I say. Two different light levels, one high and one low for each light. There's a red light, a white light and a green light. So take your pick. I prefer the white obviously because it's, it's brighter, you can see better. But for a, a dull subdued light you can go for the green or the red. There's the white obviously, that's the dim I think. Let's have a look, there's the red. I don't know how well you can actually see the colours because obviously it's not dark outside so you can't really see the colours that well. And there's the green. And all of it's usable off the remote as well. Obviously you can change your colours, put it onto red, put it onto white, put it onto green, whichever colour text you fancy. And then you can turn it off and it leaves like a, a light blue light for a few seconds and then that goes off. So it's ideal if you're getting into bed, just push the button, turn the light off, climb into bed under the blue light, jobs a book. So there you have it, just in a nutshell. Another crack and bit of kit. I've been, like I say, I've been using it for a, probably about two or three months now and it's been spot on. You see there's green, dark, uh, bright green. There's the red, there's the white, bright white. Obviously be, there's a, the red which I can't really see very well in this light obviously because the sun shines through the trees as well which won't help. But yeah, crack and bit of kit, love it. The green's quite funky as well actually. So all in all, it's a crack and bit of kit. Comes in like I say in a nice little case, which is ideal. You've got two magnets, one for a bank stick on a flexi, which you can just bend to any sort of shape you want. If you're doing any night shots or whatever, or you're working outside doing anything. And your super strong magnet for the bivy. That goes on the outside of your bivy, obviously. Light goes on the inside. That just clips down onto there. So there you have it. The Sun Blisse, I believe it's pronounced. Bivy light in its own little case. Happy days. Crack and bit of kit. If you're after a new uh, light for your bivy, I can recommend these, I must admit. Been using, like I say, two or three months. It's been absolutely fine. Not a problem. And there's, like I say, there's two uh, powers. There's the 2,500 milliamp airs and the 5,000 milliamp airs. So take your pick, however bright you want it, and you can do it, like I said, it charges other things as well, which is a bit, yeah, I prefer the proper power packs, obviously, rather than drain your light down to charge things on, but other than that, crack and bit of kit, highly recommend it. Sun bleeds a bit of your light. Cheers now. Well, the light's fading fast, I'm afraid, folks. End of a nice day. Oh. Little passage just jumped behind us. Um, just having my supper. Some nice chicken tikka slices. Some nice Italian tomatoes. A nice cup of tea. Just watch the sun go down. Absolutely class. People wonder why I go fishing. I've had a can of cider earlier on. Just like I say, just sitting there watching the sun go down. Absolutely class. A few fish shown, but only small ones, so just see what tonight brings. Like you can see, it's coming in dark now, so see it's only, uh, what time have we got? Half seven, it's as good as dark here now, like. Got the ISO as high as I can on the camera, so you can barely make me out, I suppose, but it is where it is. So fingers crossed for tonight. If I don't see you during the night, I'll see you in the morning, bright and early, ready for the drive home. Okay then. Speak to you all again soon. Cheers for now. Well, good morning everybody. Got ourselves a bit of a chunk. 37 pound mirror. That'll do, won't it? Cracking fish. What a proper unit this is. Oh. Check him out. How was that for a chunk? Yeah, 37 pound mirror. What a fantastic fish. Happy days.
try and get the other side. Eh? Let's have a look. A bit of water on it. Let's have a look. Thirty-seven pound. Up it is. What a blinking chunk! Yeah, check that out. Right, we'll get her back. Cheers now. Well, then, how good was that? Thirty-seven pound, were it? Happy days. Proper chuff with that. Finally caught a whacker. Still got another. Don't know how long hours left. How twelve hours left, maybe. So you never know, that was a chance of another one. And it was a middle rod which hadn't gone before, so that's bites in all three rods now, so job's a book. Happy days, get in there. <laughs> right, we're gonna crack on because it's carnage out there. Gear all over the place. And I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers for now. We've got another. <laughs> Extremely hard fighting. 19 pound 12 common. One of Deepin's lovely bars of gold. Show you this quickly because <laughs> try and get it back. Oh, <laughs> fella, just let me pick you up. Come here. <laughs> Tip will be in common, going mental. How was that? Got it to see me breath. 19 pound 12 common. What a cracking fish. Fought like a bink nutcase as well. Absolutely awesome. Right, I'm gonna get a put strip back. It's about half past five in the morning. I'll try and get another hour's cup if I can. <laughs> a lot of sorting out to do, so I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers for now. Well, what a night that was. Oh, man, I can't complain with that. Six fish now, happy days. Having a slow pack down now, early breakfast. Proper wipe now, like. <laughs> but still, well worth it. Some cracking fish there at the shore. Absolutely brilliant. Looks like it's going to be a scorcher as well, so I'm going to crack on, have some breakfast. Like I say, have a slow pack down get myself away before it gets too hot. It should dry everything off for us anyway, which is a, good, a bonus. So happy days. Looking good all around really. Right, catch you in a bit. That's it everybody, it's a wrap. I'm sure you'll agree. Cracking session, really enjoyed that. Two doubles, two twenties, two thirties. Thirty pound leather, thirty seven pound mirror. Awesome, really good. And none of them blooming stockies either. Little two and three pounders, which was amazing because they keep crashing all the time over the right hand side there. But, yep, that's what another one in the bag. Quick look at the lake before I go. Looks absolutely bang on. Always does when you're going home, doesn't it? How good does that look? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Love it. We'll have to get back in another, another week or so. So if you want to keep following me on my travels, 
please subscribe much appreciated and give us a like if you like it obviously and i'll see you all again next time cheers for now thanks for watching now thanks a lot cheers